If you've ever wanted to trigger some behavior on your Mac when you switch between light mode and dark mode, this is a quick little tip for you. This is something I wanted to do recently, and I did some searching, and I found this great little script on GitHub, Dark Mode Notify. It's a small Swift program that you can use to trigger a shell script anytime you switch between light mode and dark mode. So let me show you how I have this set up, and maybe this will trigger some ideas for you in your own work setup. You can read through the readme here, but I'm pretty much going to take you through that. Let's start with this dark mode notify.swift file. I'm going to choose the raw version here, and I'm just going to go ahead and copy this. And then in my terminal, I'm going to go to my home directory local slash bin. You may not have this folder. I like to keep my custom system scripts in here. You can put this really wherever you want. I'm going to create a new file here called dark mode notify .swift. And in here, let's go ahead and just paste in the contents of that script. As you can see, this is a Swift file. I'm not really familiar with the API or the syntax of Swift, but I can tell that we're setting a dark mode environment variable here to either one if we are in dark mode or zero if we're not. And then we're actually running a script that is passed in as an argument. And then down here, it looks like we're adding an observer to the Apple interface theme change notification. So we're hooking into a system notification and running our shell script when that happens. With this script in place, we can go ahead and compile this. So if you've got a pretty modern Mac, you should have Swift C on here. And I'm going to go ahead and compile the Swift file that we have. This will take a couple of seconds, but once it builds, we now have our executable program, dark mode notify here, that we can actually use to call our script. Now, having this script built is only step one, because if you come back to the GitHub page here, you can see that if we want to have a background agent where this will run on startup and be watching while you're using your Mac, we need to set up a launch agent. The file path recommended here is in your home directory, library, launch agents, and then the custom name for this plist file. So let's go ahead and create a file here. And I can just go ahead and open that up. And then this is the contents of it right here. So I'm going to go ahead and paste this in. We need to put a path to the location for the standard error log and the standard out log. And then down here, we also need a path to our own script. I think just putting these logs into our temp directory should be fine. Now for the path to the program, uh, dark mode notify is not at user local bin. Instead, it's at uh, slash users Andrew dot local bin. I'm going to duplicate that one and and we're going to put our shell script at the same path. So we're going to say on dark mode notify. SH. There we go. And we'll create that shell script in just a second here. With this plist file in place, we'll be able to load this as a launch agent that macOS will start up on system boot. Before we do that, let's go ahead and create that script that we just talked about. So this will be a fairly straightforward bash script. So we'll put our hash bang at the top. And what I want to do when dark mode switches is change the desktop background. I like to use a solid color background. Right now, I have a very light background. I want to change it to something dark when we switch to dark mode. So let's create a path here that is just an empty string for now. If uh, dark mode as an environment variable is equal to one, then we're going to update our path here and I'm going to paste in a path that I happen to know. This is where the solid color desktop pictures are kept on Mac OS. So system library desktop pictures, solid color is black. And that's what I want if we have dark mode set to zero. Now you'll remember dark mode here as an environment variable is something that the Swift script is going to set. So we're going to have access to that. Uh, let's add an else block here and in the else block, instead of black, I'm going to use silver. So silver is what I actually have right now. And then we'll be able to switch to black and we'll see this switch in just a second. I'm going to do a little bit of logging here for our script. And then we have to actually set the wallpaper and we can use a handy bit of Apple script for this. I'll break this onto two lines just so you can see it, but we're going to have to put it on one line here. OS a script, which is the runner for Apple script and then dash E to pass it the script in line. Tell the system events application to tell every desktop to set the picture to the path. So we'll set that back to one line. And now we have a shell script that should successfully change our desktop picture. Now, if you haven't written a lot of shell scripts and you want to test this a little bit before you actually run it, what you can do is pop an echo at the beginning of the line that you care about. This means instead of actually executing the line, it's just going to echo the line. So what we can do now, if I save this, we can actually test the script. So I can say dark mode equals one bash, and then we'll call our on notify. And you can see that we get some logging here instead of it actually doing anything. We get our log line here, setting wallpaper to path, and then we actually log out 
our Apple script after that. So that looks good. I'm going to remove the echo there, save that. And now I think we're ready to go ahead and load the launch file. And if we come back to that GitHub page, you can see the command right here where we do launch CTL load dash W and the path to our P list. So let's go ahead and copy that and if we run that, we don't get any output, but I can see by the color of my prompt that it was a zero exit code. So that means this happened successfully. Now there's one more thing we have to do before we can actually test this. Notice that the on dark mode notification shell script here is not executable. So we can just run change mod and we'll add the executable permission to our on dark mode notify shell script. Okay, and with that in place, we can now actually try this. So I've got our system preferences open. We're on light mode right now. If I switch to dark mode, nothing happens, but this is just a first time thing because we also get this permission dialog, which says that our dark mode notify script wants to access system events. And so I'm gonna choose okay, and notice that my background changes to black. And that only happens the first time you run the script. If we go back to light, you can see that our background switches to light as we click it. Perfect. And of course, if we had this on auto, then at that time of day, when we automatically switch to dark mode, the background would change. Of course, you could do a lot more than just change your desktop background with a script like this. You could change your editor theme or your terminal theme when your Mac switches from light mode to dark mode. If you have internet enabled lights in your room, you could change the whole mood of your room based on your operating system. Those are some fun ideas. Let me know if you have others in the comments and thanks for watching.